Now, we have got one final cruise uh, to tempt you with this evening, and it's with Royal Caribbean on board the Radiance of the Seas. And my word, it's a trip of a lifetime over to Sydney and Perth. Yeah. I, again, I've never been to Australia. Have you not? No. Oh, you've got to go one day. It's, as much as it is far away, there's a reason so many people go there. Um, so here you uh, have your beautiful Radiance of the Seas that we're looking at now. Now, this is a sister ship to Jewel of the Seas. So it's one of Royal Caribbean's stunning vision class ships. Um, carries around 2,400 passengers and it's fantastic. It's filled with really good entertainment facilities. You've got the kids club, the Broadway style shows, there's something for everyone. Recent upgrades oh. include oh, okay, some new good. venues. You've got the pub, the park cafe, the boardwalk doghouse, chef's table, Rita's cantina and more. An outdoor movie screen, shipwide Wi-Fi, new staterooms as well. So that's all new upgrades. Very nice. Um, really wonderful cuisine, as you would totally expect. You've got your Giovanni's table for your Italian, Rita's cantina for Mexican, which I love, actually. Um, yes, whatever you like, pretty much. <laughs> and and I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Royal Caribbean. My first cruise was with them, and, and I spent my 40th birthday with Royal Caribbean, and they really looked after me. You've had your 40th birthday. Don't look surprised, Gemma. <laughs> The next one will be my 50th. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good That's way not to spend your birthday, actually, yeah. though. Yeah, it was way, great. Yeah. Honestly, best, you know, 40 was quite hard, but you know what? They made it easy. Anyway, let's, uh, <laughs> let's show you where you're going to be cruising to because break down the price of this. We're going to fly you over to Sydney. Now, flights to Sydney, they could cost you an awful lot. And then we're going to transfer you, transfer you from the airport to the hotel, and we're going to give you two nights here in a, in a beautiful four-star hotel. Yeah, that's right. And I think when you've had such a long journey, that is a really good way to start off. Unwind. The thing is, you get to Sydney. It's such a beautiful place, wonderful feeling of space. And on uh, what would be day four of the trip, we've included a nice tour of the Blue Mountains and Australian wildlife. So you can go and have lunch and get into the countryside. But it goes without saying, the Sydney Opera House... I mean, it's just an amazing... It's, and, it's like one of the wonders of the world, isn't and, it? And we should say, this uh, this off is exclusive to Planet Cruise, and they realise that, you you know, you wouldn't want to just fly to Sydney and get straight on your cruise, so they have included two nights in a hand-picked four-star hotel yeah, and this lovely nice. tour as well. And also, once you've gone that way, you've got to see of Sydney course. properly, haven't you? Because it is a really beautiful place, very clean as well. It's wonderful. So, day five, we then transfer you from the hotel to the port and you embark on the Royal Caribbean Radiance, and you've got six nights cruising which is so lovely so uh, the next port of call is Brisbane um, so from here you're on the Gold Coast basically you know so you could get to Surfers Paradise quite easily or you could go up Sky Point which um, is a building which takes you to the highest point above the Gold Coast and you get a 360 degree view of Brisbane um, you've got Gold Coast and Surfers Paradise about so an hour away from up there you might be able to see them um, so that's so it looks really nice really impressive isn't it yes oh, I know like, Brisbane has a semi-tropical climate actually as well so you you, you have got your, your, your wildlife and everything nearby and botanical gardens, wildlife parks, um, very lively shopping precincts. So loads to do and see, lovely food as well. And then a day at sea? Um, yes, and you've got a day at sea and then on day nine you sail into Airlie Beach, which is in the Whit Sundays. <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to laugh now. Look at that, it's ridiculous. Oh. It's a world-renowned holiday destination and if you think of the Whit Sundays you know it's where the Great Barrier Reef is the Heart Reef that you can see there Whitehaven Beach it's at the top of millions of people's lists of yeah. where yeah. they ultimately like to go Again, Early I'm, Beach you're gonna love it I'm, I'm, I'm watching this thinking you know I, I, I do need to go there I really yeah. do yeah oh one day absolutely um, so then we're at sea for a couple of days and then we uh, sail into Darwin which has got plenty of attractions just for the day um, so Aboriginal art and craft galleries so much to do and see and you know I mentioned the food before but you're actually gonna have some amazing seafood they eat really well in Australia oh, yeah. just gorgeous food it's also fresh isn't it very very fresh absolutely and, and then, then a few days at sea and yes. then oh Bali Bali yes yeah. so when you arrive at Bali you'll sail into Benoa and again by now you'll almost be used to the beaches being so stunning you're just like oh yes I would head for Ubud which is a village and there's a cluster of villages and this is where you're going to get that really sort of authentic feel a bit like this of Bali 
This is where you can have a, a massage. You could go to a spa where they do reflexology and all this kind of thing. You've got um, craft villages where they sell Balinese sort of handicrafts and artifacts. And you've got a monkey nature reserve. So I'd definitely visit that as well. Then we're at sea again, and then we arrive in Port Headland, which is in the Pilbara region of Western Australia. Now, this place, I mean, this is where you might see whales, you might see flatback turtles, just wonderful sea life. Then day 20, you're in Geraldton, which is the capital of Western Australia's Midwest region. Um, and again, spectacular coastline. And then we're in Perth. Yes, we disembark in Perth, but again, Planet Cruise have made this exclusive and they've actually included two nights in a four-star hotel. Mm. And you know, again, when you've flown all this way, you, I'd want to spend some time in Perth. Yeah, and this is such a good way to see Australia as yeah. well, because it, normally people fly to Sydney and they end up staying there for three weeks and they come home. You know, it's so big, it's so vast, and we're sailing you all around it. Do so. you know, I like the fact that it's all organised, so, you know, ev every single aspect of this is, is planned perfectly for you. Yeah, and Perth is wonderful, and you have got a night there. It, getting around the city is a complete breeze. You've got free public transport. And again, that wonderful feeling of space and, makes everything quite easy. And a final reminder, you'll be spending your, your time on this gorgeous ship with Royal Caribbean as well, with loads of upgrades that Gemma mentioned as well. Uh, again, when you break this down, uh, it's a trip of a lifetime. You're away for over three weeks. We give you return flights. They're based on London Heathrow. Uh, all, we always choose great airlines as well, by the way. Yes, we that's really important yeah. when you're flying that far. Uh, so, yeah. so all of your return flights, your transfers, two nights in both Sydney and Perth, and uh, if you are booking the 11th of March, you should say, it operates from Perth to Sydney there. So um, you've got to say different, slightly different variations according to the dates as well. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, and oh, also, no. we're, so we're good, Atoll and Abta protected as well, which I think when you're committing to a big trip like that, that's yeah. really important. And it's deposit only, so that's nice. Planet Cruise, have, you know, they've got a great reputation in yeah. this and they've got years and years of experience. 